science is beginning to confirm what we have been teaching and understanding is a real uh, nice mesh. I know that Victor Gostin wrote an article just in the last uh, Theosophia. I was interested in reading it. And he talked about the solar waves and the energy waves that go through the universe and through the cosmos, and that it's not empty space, as people once thought, but an interconnected network. And in, now, in addition to black holes, there are white holes. Um, so every time we think we've learned something, we learn something more, and it becomes more complex, not, not simpler. Um, and Thich Nhat Hanh, I recently wrote, wrote, ran across an article by him in which he said that you've got to be able to see the sun in a piece of paper because if you cannot have the paper without a tree and you cannot have a tree without the earth and the water and the sun and it continues on, but whenever you see one thing, you should see a multiple things because of the interconnection. And we're going to explore the interconnectedness of all of life uh, and the environment with a focus on Akasha and correlations with current science and certainly speaking, um, using theosophical writings, particularly from Madame Blavatsky, who he said was the, um, one of the founders. I have this quote from a medical doctor. Are some of us occasionally able to tap into this Akashic information bank with some facility and perhaps all of us to some extent now and then, uh, such as precognition, psychic crime solving that we have seen examples of, even psychic spying. So he, like a number of scientists, are recognizing that there is some underlying that connects um, and influences all of creation. We have called it Akasha, and that is a Sanskrit term. It's long been used in, in Hindu and Sanskrit, but now sometimes scientists are picking it up and they're calling it the A-field. Sounds much more official if it's the A-field. So let's look at the term Akasha. Does anybody want to say what you think it means? A memory. A memory? All right, that's one. Recording. A recording. Vibration. 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 Frequency. Frequency. And um, actually, the Sanskrit word originally means brilliance, or radiation, or sky. It is the most significant of the five basic elements of creation, earth, air, fire, water. And it's that cosmic web that, uh, through which all other things are manifest, going back to that loom in the very beginning quote, which was so beautiful. Um, and Edgar Cayce, many of you are familiar with his writings, which I uh, encountered early in my theosophical career. Um, He's, according to Edgar Cayce, he says the Akashic Records, or Book of Life, and that's where you're getting the recording and memory and so forth, uh, can be equated to the universe's supercomputer system. And the system acts as a central storehouse for all information for every individual who's ever lived on Earth. And it's more than just a reservoir of events. Uh, it, it contains every deed, word, feeling, thought, and intent. Think about that. Everything you think about 
is somewhere out in the ether forever. Not only is it recording, which everybody's more familiar with, but it is interactive. It is an interactive web that has influence on our everyday lives and our relationships, our feelings, and uh, it, the potential realities that we draw toward us. All of this is like this web of consciousness, the universe. And moreover, Edgar Cayce says that the entire history of every soul is on this, um, recorded since the dawn of creation, and they connect us to one another. Uh, it also is the source of all myths because we relate to this global memory, also to magic because it is this field of consciousness. And this is what we live in, this is what we breathe in. This is how we experience deja vu and, and um, connections, intuitive connections, we're connecting with that Akashic record. So Akasha is the unbiased judge and jury recording everything that attempts to guide, educate, transform, every individual to be the very best that they can be. So it is that fluid transmission of karma as well. What can it be and how can science connect with it? How can it be so accurate and yet fluid and responsive um, in, in effect? It seems to be like it's this vast super consciousness in which all creation unfolds a web, a network, a framework for all that is. It responds, it remembers, it nourishes, it guides, and it is us.